Okay, let's call the meeting order. Uh, first thing is the approval of the minutes. Move for approval, Mr. Chair. Second. No further discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, then we have Patricia Ann Pickering. Come on up. Come on up. See yeah. For a bartender's license at Tom Foolery. Um, oh, I, okay, I know this one. Okay. You know, there's a lot of things here. Uh, some have been dismissed, but read in. What does it mean, but read in? And dismissed, but read in? It means they agree to the charge, they're just not actually being sentenced for it. Okay. It's kind of like it's like a plea negotiation to something, usually where they're charged with multiple offenses, and then they decide only based on the interest of justice that only one is okay, but they read the facts in, so the judge can, can consider that at sentencing then. Okay. And the, the forgery uttering, what is that? That's like writing a bad check, or oh, okay. you're like signing a credit card statement to somebody else's, like kind of like financial. Okay. I just yeah, is that what you did? Was it bad checks, or is it something it was, different? No, it was bad checks. <coughs> okay. In, in numerous places, but we're looking at 2002 uh, and 2006, so that was a while back. So, uh, you worked here? I'm have, sorry? You, have you worked uh, for Tom for a while? Or? I have worked for Tom for probably six weeks. Okay. So, uh, you did put down the ring and the parking tickets. Uh, does anybody have anything? Well, m Mr. Chairman. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'll wait for Marty to give the dissertation, oh, but okay. based on what I'm seeing here, and I'm seeing 2002, 2006, um, 2002 obviously is over 13 years ago. I think she might have learned her lesson after 2006, there's nothing. So mm -hmm. based on the report that this is all pretty old stuff, um, back in 2002, I'm gonna move for approval. And I'll second that. Okay, is there any further discussion? Mr. Chair? Alderman Weigel. I guess, I guess my concern is like, Whatever the bad checks were, it rose to the level of being felony. Yes. Is that, correct? Is that based on a dollar amount or? I'm not sure what. I'm not, I don't typically. Have that answer. Typically, is it is it like a thousand dollars or? Two thousand or twenty five hundred at that time. Okay. <coughs> yeah, it was more than that. Okay. And what was it that caused you to start cutting checks? I was in a really bad spot in my life. My son's father had passed away earlier and. And I was raising a teenager on my own, and I did not, I was not handling things well at all. And I made some really, really bad choices. And did you spend any time behind bars over this? I got six months condition time, so that was six months at um, Waukesha County Huber. And then I had six years of probation, okay. which I completed. Yeah, and that all went well. I don't see any, yeah. well, I do see one probation violation. Right. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay, what was that? I walked away. I did not come back to Huber. Okay. So. But they come and found you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and then, this is really for anybody else that's applying for a bar. You and everybody else in the room that may be applying for a bartending license. When you bartend in West Dallas, we expect you to be cooperative with the police. If there's a problem, we expect you to call the police. Okay. And when the police show up, you expect you to be helpful with the police. Um, if something happens, if there's a fight. Call the police. Don't if, if you're ever standing there thinking, wondering, should I call the police? Call. If if, if, the, if the thought just crosses your mind, you know, maybe I should call the police about this. Call. Okay. Um, there will be occasions when the police will probably send somebody in, not of legal age, to drink, try to buy a drink. You know, like a sting thing. Um, most employers will make you pay that fine. Many employers will probably fire you for that if you get caught. So, card everybody. Um, Again, we expect you to be a partner, you know, with the police. My other peeve, when I read, look through our, our little stories tonight, is when people are just falling down drunk, the customers, okay? You, you took the class, right? So you know in West Al in Wisconsin, it's against the law for a licensed bartender to serve somebody that's drunk. You know that. So I think that's all I have. Okay, and also that anybody who gets proved tonight has got to go to the full council uh, later on after recess and uh, for approval. And you can pick it up after 10 o'clock tomorrow morning? Yes. And if you don't pick it up by 
three. Three. Then they then they mail it. So for everybody. So. So I go to the full council tonight after yes. recess. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I stay for that. You, you can or can't. see what the yes. vote is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you have any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No. Sorry. So it's four to one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so four to one to go to council. Five other people have to vote on it. So. Okay. Okay. So that means I go to the. the well, you don't have yeah, to. You don't have to. Defer, it starts. Uh, yeah, because that doesn't start till seven. You don't have to. You won't be asked to come up. You won't be okay. asked any questions at that. It's just if you want to see whether or not it'd be at least by the time uh, we would break for recess again, get back, it'd be at least two to three hours. <clears throat> okay. So you don't have to be there. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Tony Donaldson. Tony Donaldson. Uh, this is the first first request. I don't want to see who I was related to. Desiree <laughs> Henningfield. Mariah Henningfield. Desiree. This is the second request. Uh, what is this? She just there's nothing there. No. Oh, you're still on. Well, we usually vote two times. I don't know. Do you want to wait until recess on this? Or? Okay, we can hold it. I would agree. Okay. Darrell Miller. I noticed somebody here. Darrell Miller. Uh, this is a second also. Do we need to wait for this guy? Can I move for denial based on the on the record on this? I would wait till recess. Yeah. Well, but we can we can wait till the end of this meeting too. Okay, yeah, I'll agree. Uh, Tammy Dock. Two bartenders would mean that we're there. Should they come up too? Sure. Not yet. No, I would say not no. yet. No. Okay. Fine. Okay. For for now. Sure. Okay. So you know why you're here. Yes. Um. Alden Wagle, do you want to? Yeah, Tammy, you heard what I just said, and you heard what I say all the time. Okay. Did you read this police report about this? Thing? I did, and that, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, My bartender called the police that time, and the other one did I mean, another time. How did he come to be that drunk walking out of the bar? Did he walk down to the Beloit Road, had no idea what was going on? Are we talking about different, we're talking, maybe talking there's about, we got a couple police reports. There's two reports here. We're, we're going to take North 55 and 56. So. Am I on the right one where the guy showed up at the quick pantry? I no, that's 56. Oh, okay. That one I didn't get the police report. I really don't know. That one, Sue knows more about than me. They came from down the street. Adopts is at the quick pantry, right? 60 yeah. Second, 67th and Lincoln. Which one is? Yeah, that was where the gentleman that was. Yeah, one of your customers right. left the bar falling down drunk. Yeah, no. Got I'm jumped on the street. I'm just trying to make sure. Go ahead. Is that yours? Sir? And then ended up at the quick pantry yes, and had to be arrested and transported to the hospital. He said he was he said that. he was in drinking by you. I don't know anything about that. No. I don't have the whole police report in front of me because I didn't print all ninety pages today. Does anybody do you know what Yeah, I do. Do you have the name okay. of that gentleman? Uh, I just gotta make sure I have the right. Was that October twenty eighth or no, this yeah. isn't Lon Jerry Bannon. Bannon. Yeah. Bagner? Right. Is that the mole? I believe the first picture. Is that who it was? Yeah. yeah. Slowly. Is that Slowly. the mole? No, that's the 14 mole. Right. right. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, Mr. Chairman. Alan Garza. Um, on that particular one, from what I read, the uh, the person left the bar, and after to leave the bar, it's I I think it's extremely tough to to tell what they're going to do. He walked almost a half a mile. A car with three people in it. Um, got out and beat him up. Um, these three people were not at the bar, had nothing to do with the bar. In fact, did it multiple times that night. Yeah, and jumped some other people. Jumped other people. So the, this particular car was out there <laughs> purely to beat up people. Um, I don't understand what it has to do with her bar at all. Um, the gentleman didn't even seem to remember where he was drinking. Yeah, and whether correct. I guess, I guess and was, he, is, was he at her place? place? I'm, yeah. Yeah. The guy, he gets to open pantry, and, and I think probably about an hour had passed, and he's lying on the ground, and I don't know how far the open pantry is from from your location. I'm pretty far. A mile and a half. mile and a half? No. And um, I, if I walked a mile and a half and I was drunk, I'd be pretty sober by that time, personally. But well, um, I, I, 
Yeah, it's, 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 it's like I said, um, I think even in the beginning, they don't even know who this guy is. Police never came back, said anything no, no. about I, I them. Guess, right. I guess that's, that's the question. I, I, but, I do so let's go I, to what she <coughs> called in on. Okay. I was calling so, both of you. Um, yeah, because this one, I let's just move the place on file because it was. Well, well, this goes. Let's just talk about them. Right. Oh my okay. God. This goes back to both were intoxicated and began to over argue over politics. I, I believe the, these were the last two patrons in the bar. Of the, of the day. Susie was working. I was not there. Okay. Um, one guy, Tom, comes in often enough. I've, I don't think I've ever seen him have more than like four drinks. And he usually, he's been there, he does veteran things and things. And the other guy walks down the street. He lives close. Yeah. And um, as Susie told me, and then I read that police report, she called the police because um, he grabbed his money. He, like, um, gave him off. Um, and you know what? Yeah. And I have kicked out that Liam before for being drunk because he comes, he goes down the road and I'm the closest bar to his house and he'll stop in late. And I think you have to, both of you probably have told him we're not serving. Well, so would, she would you maybe consider just not serving him at all? I have. Forever? I personally I mean, have. I mean, at all. Do you have like, do you have a blacklist? Well, now he's on the blacklist. Okay. Okay. He, um, absolutely. Oh, and I do have a blacklist. Because I understand a Somebody comes in and sure. they got a half a load on. You can't. It's hard. It's difficult. It, it can be difficult. After the first tell. one, you, know, you can usually and it, tell. And I guess my right. question from you know my question is when, when patrons are in there for six or eight hours drinking. They weren't in there. I don't know. It, it, that's not reflected anywhere in the report, and, I, and that's, that's yeah. I, that would be the question I would have. That's where sure. I have a problem. When a customer's in there for six or eight hours drinking. Oh, me too. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> that normally doesn't. So, so your point, uh, on was, is that. You know, uh, she did call the police. Over, yeah. Cut the people off. Police, but Stop but it, 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 we're, get, we're seeing this more and more in reporting yeah. reports yeah. when the police get there. The, the people are just, you know, totally intoxicated. Some can't even stand. Some can't even tell their name. You know, and, and they're sitting in bars. You know, not just yours. Right. And so, uh, and the problem wouldn't have happened if these people wouldn't have been, you know, uh, technically overserved. So as much as I've seen them, I'm there. I mean, I am at my bar a lot. Tom. Is rarely, and then Liam, I have not served him many times. Well, Mr. Trent? But that's, just, oh, well. yeah. Tom described it as a, approximately five minutes long, looks like. I wasn't sure I, what she did. And I understand that witnesses get time confused all the time, but and I guess that was the other thing that bothered sides, me. This, yeah. five, I mean, if we sat here in a quiet room for five minutes, it's a very long time. I would say. <laughs> okay. Uh, do I have a motion on 55 and 56? I move the place on file. Second. Is there any further discussion? Oh, oh, Mr. Chairman, the only thing that I'm going to say is, again, you did the right thing calling the police. Keep that up. Thank, thank you. you very much. No, thank you. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Oh. <coughs> Kim Case. Did I say that right? Case? <laughs> okay. And we're here. <laughs> Somebody didn't have a license. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Just explain. Mr. Yeah. Chairman. Yeah, you just would explain. Yes. Um, well, she has a license now. Um, Usually what happens is I'm there that day. I had an appointment. Um, we have another bartender that lives upstairs. So I left a few minutes early and I called him and I said, I'm leaving a few minutes early. Can you come downstairs a little early? And he said, I'm just going to finish cleaning up and I'll be right down there. Well, his down there was 15 or 20 minutes later, which in that time increment is when the police officer came in. So immediately I sent her home. And I said, you get it now, you take the class, you do what you got to do, and there's not going to be anybody on staff that doesn't have a license ever, so we don't have to run into this. You know, it was it was silly, yeah. This, this happened last month also, somebody came in, same thing. Yep, same exact thing. You know, same yeah. exact thing. Yeah, same, we're, we're no, it won't be the, me. <laughs> the police officers, because the police officers walk in all the time, so. Yeah. Mr. Chairman? All the bars. To me, it sounds like you, uh, you learned, uh, yeah. moved the uh, place on file. Second. And I'll second that. Any further discussion? Uh, All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? 
Tiffany Steven. Okay. Extremely long piece of work. Alvin Rote, did you want to? That be leading to this oh. police report. If you want to talk about the police report, if not, I'll talk about the conduct. Well, we, we're talking about them both, but the reason they're here is for, because of the police report. And actually, am I, do they call the police? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead, Alvin Rowe. There's some other things that I guess myself and the other Alvin of the district have been getting complaints about conduct leaving the bar at night. The, the, the trash, the litter, the noise, and it's not even close to bar time. It's like 3.30, quarter to 4. It's yeah, challenging. Yeah, okay. Now, did our police squad come and visit you about two weeks ago, our <coughs> tavern um, enforcement unit? So they were going to stop by and talk to you folks. Um, we did have a couple of officers stop by okay. and talk to us about the, uh, there was a neighbor that had a couple of complaints about yep. how the lid on the trash can wasn't on tight. It was a little bit off, stuff like that. Well, we got stuff a, going wrong. a little more in depth with the noise and the public urination and the bottles or glass. This is what I'm hearing from emails. I haven't been there to check it out, but... <coughs> I would really appreciate, along with the other aldermen, if you looked into it. Absolutely. We it's not happening on the front of your bar either. It's no, happening on the west side. I have my four or my four guys every 45 minutes to an hour. They do a walkthrough of the entire parking lot as well as the one across the street to make sure that any litter at all of any kind is all picked mm -hmm. up. So yeah. if there was a problem in the past, I can assure you there won't be from this point on. Yeah. Like I said, the slamming doors, the revving of the engines, the loud music, everything that goes with people leaving a bar at closing time. Okay. Uh, not the phone. Did you have a camera system? You have that in yet? <coughs> um, we have what was there when we bought it. Oh, and that never worked. Well, yeah. He's oh, yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> they, well, to me, they always said it didn't work. It was broke that day. Oh. Yeah, that's oh. what they always said, yeah. I don't know what the report time is exactly. Um, yeah, was, it? was it the Lucas set? I don't know either. Okay, because uh, it's something that we had talked. I wonder if we talked to you about this yeah. one thing too about having the camera over there and and uh, you know it really helps the police department and, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know if it would have in this case or something. But you said it's there, but you don't know if it's working. No, it works. I just yeah. don't know what the loop is for the, um, re you know, like every 72, 40, you know, I just not 72 hours this morning yet, but yeah. I just know what the time period is that it keeps over. Because you know it records over. Right, the right. Break. I, just, okay. I don't know what they're set at. Okay. Mr. Chair? Alvin Wagle. Um, you're listed as the agent. Yeah. Are you? Would you describe yourself as an active agent? You're there daily, weekly, monthly? Mm. I'm there weekly. Weekly. Yeah. Okay. It just I seems strange that you didn't know the police were in. Yeah, I didn't know. You didn't seem to know, and you don't seem to know about the camera set up either. He's new. He's new. He's okay. the new general manager. And who's, and who's he? I'm the new general manager. And what's your name? Steve Poivel. Okay, for the record. And uh, I'm going to go back to the kind of patrons that you're drawing. Okay. Do you, does your security staff have like a tablet or something, or they keep, do you have a blacklist? Of course. Okay. So. The gentlemen that were in the police report that triggered your visit today, uh, their names have been added to the blacklist, I yes. assume? Okay. Yes. Okay. That's, yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, we don't cater to that kind of clientele yeah. in well, any way. Well, apparently do. Well, no. <laughs> yeah. No, but not at all. Okay. We try to keep those kind of people out of our yeah. location. And so how do you keep felons out? Well, it's impossible to know who's I a felon walking yeah, through the door. That's I'm wondering how you do that. Because I'd like to know, too. I'd like to tell everybody <coughs> how to do that. Yeah, it's, that's an impossible <laughs> question yeah. to answer. But... Um, any well, you could actually see cap them at the door if you wanted to. Could be quite time it's consuming, might but be, we could. Might be threads, <laughs> might be, oh, whatever. Yeah. But, but oh. That's coming. <laughs> that's coming. But I don't mean that we're going to make you do it. I'm just saying right. the technology is ripe enough now. Right. You know, but uh, <coughs> I, I just wanted to make sure you had a blacklist 
and that the gentleman, yes. when I read this, yeah, the, the gun, the you know, can <laughs> deliver yes. all this stuff. <laughs> and, I mean, it didn't happen in your establishment, but these are the people that you're bringing to our neighborhood. So that's it. Okay, do I have a motion? What? Hey, Mr. Chairman. Alderman Barzai. Um, just a little follow up and a little bit of Alderman Road said is I know that you'll get like party buses and things like that, and that's where some of these people will, you know, the bathrooms might be backed up or something like that. It really is a really good idea with an establishment like yours to have somebody that's maybe constantly walking around um, and then looking for trash, picking up things, and making sure that everything's in order. Um, so when you got buses coming, you got limousine coming, you got all kinds of stuff coming and going. Um, probably be a really, really good idea to maybe police that outside a little more heavier than what you've been doing. Absolutely, I think yeah, it'll. Yeah. I think it'll improve uh, your chances a lot better. Right. Okay. Do I have a motion? Place on file. Move, Move. place on file. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. We'll see you again. <laughs> Vincent Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Oh. Not be able to appear tonight. Oh. Okay. Uh, right in front of me. How am I supposed to see it? Uh, oh, this is okay. Uh, Fiddler's Green. I Move said I place on file. Second. Any further discussion? Uh, All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Uh, and we have Edward Brown, Jr. I was wondering if I'd be called up today. I didn't see myself on the agenda here. Oh, you got the wrong one. Is that the problem? Okay. Yeah, that's the council agenda. Yeah, this is the license I have. Okay. But I do see Darrell Miller in here. Darrell Miller's one of my bartenders. Oh. So he, I he hasn't showed up. Yeah, I want to make sure he's here. He hasn't showed up twice. As a matter of fact, he hasn't showed up twice, so... We might be voting to not prove him because he's not showing up. I'll certainly pass that along to him. Okay, uh, you know what? I reason you're here. Uh, frankly, I do not. Okay. Uh, I wish I had Alderman Brooks was here. Mr. Chair, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Chair, if I could. Yeah, go ahead. Um, we grant your license. You know, I think in September. September. Yeah. September. And. You were in here, and you described the kind of business you're going to operate. Yes. How's the kitchen coming along? The kitchen, I would say, is 92% done. Okay, and hoods in? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what are you putting in for equipment? We have everything in there. We've got two fryers, a brand new stove, and a brand new griddle. Okay. Because, and I think you probably remember, I asked you very pointedly, you know, your business model, you said you're going to do 40% food. Sure. Now, you're, you're not doing any food at all right now, right? We're doing catered food on the weekends. Okay, so that's... In fact, my chef, she paid us on the weekends. So we're okay, so, well, I've been there twice, mm -hmm. and I didn't see any food. Your, your hours are typically like... 9 o'clock until 2.10 yeah. on Saturday, and okay. then on Fridays we're doing 7 o'clock until 12. 7 to 9, we have a live band. Okay. Um, I guess the concern is that you kind of presented this business as one thing. You said you're going to be open six days a week, and, and I, 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 I didn't check with building inspection. I didn't check to see if any permits were pulled. I guess I'm glad to see that you're putting a hood in oh, absolutely. and you're going to start operating, you know, yeah. a, an actual, as you described, a restaurant. Yeah. Because you led with the, you know, when we asked you, you led with food. Sure. You know. Hence the name Bistro and Lounge. Yes. I understand. <laughs> um, you still have that, that one little dumpster in back? Yeah. Okay. You're not going to have a separate waste and recyclable dumpster? Yes, we, we are. As a matter of fact, I just contracted with them for Onyx two weeks ago. Okay, because, you know, one of the problems was, I think it was New Year's Eve was a busy night, or there was a night, you know, there was a bunch of garbage going around the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, not the kind of thing that's going to be tolerated, mm -hmm. you know, I think you understand that. Sure. Um, you know, the, the concern is you have some neighbors that, and I think, you, again, you were told, you know, when you were in here in September, mm -hmm. that this is going to be a short leash, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I'm glad to see you. So do you have, a, is there a day certain you could tell me when you're going to be start serving food? Well, here's what's happening, and I'm glad you actually brought that up because it'll allow me to segue into some other things I'd like to bring up before this committee. Uh, but with that being said, we've been targeting February 1st now for that kitchen to finally be done. We've got everything done in terms of tile and everything else to be put in there. we got all the white wash wall stuff. It's just been the hood things. That's been the biggest thing. And once we got past that hurdle, it's finally installed. It cost it 
But with that being said, why does that food? But we found out that we have to run metal piping from the meter all the way back into the kitchen and whatnot. Now what was currently there was called flex piping. Mm -hmm. And it's not a, it's not sufficient enough to carry enough gas per blah 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 mm -hmm. all the way to the four gas powered items, if you will, in the kitchen. So that's been what the delay has been. We've hired two different companies to look at it and try to get the best estimate. We finally settled on a guy. He begins work in earnest on Saturday morning at about 10 o'clock. So that's been the, the delay. And much to my chagrin, what's been happening, Ottoman, is because the hood has been done, and it's been about three months since we actually launched, I've been having what I call a series of soft openings, Friday and Saturday, between the hours mentioned. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, it's just been open just to pay bills, per se. No, I know. You've got you to generate some money. I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I understand. But, I just wanted to know where nuts. we were in the whole, because yeah. you you presented this as a certain kind of business yeah, that it was going to yeah. be, yeah. and that's not what it is right now. But yeah. you're moving towards that. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, do you do bottle service? We do do bottle service. We do. Okay. Do you know bottle service is illegal in Wisconsin? Well, I was going to explain that a little bit further. Now, our bottle service only constitutes that we have somebody bring you a bottle and you pay for it at the bar. If there's no assigned area or VIP area where the bottles are, they don't leave the bar. So it's... So who picks up the bottle and pours the alcohol into the drink? One of the bartenders. Okay. So the customers don't mix their own drinks? Oh, no, no. Okay. Because no. I, I understand bottle service happens a, a lot yeah, in clubs, yeah. and it's typically maybe in a private room or something. You really don't have a separate right. room. You have the little red pit area, yep. you know. But I just want you to understand that in West Dallas, we enforce the prohibition on, on sure. bottle service. We've sure. had problems at other locations mm -hmm. where they just hand a bottle of vodka to a customer and they walk over to the table <laughs> and it turns into a problem. Right. Okay. Right. I, I want you to under, I, I, I want to know that you know mm -hmm. that that's not allowed. Yeah, I'm, okay? I'm well versed. And your staff all, all understands that. Yep. And you're pretty much there all the time, I think, mm -hmm. probably. Every time. Yeah. 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 So I you know, so we're, take your word mm -hmm. that the, although you may, it may be presented as bottle service mm -hmm. where the customer pays a fixed price for a bottle of booze, that they're not actually making their own drinks. Sure, okay. sure, no. Um, are you doing valet parking or anything like that? No, nothing like that at all. Okay, I saw the cones out there. What happened was, I'm glad you brought that up too, uh, one Saturday we brought in a D-list celebrity, one of these reality TV guys, and we had a tour bus that brought him to the front, and I just wanted to get the guy in and get him out. And okay. what happened is when security came back inside, the cones were still there. The next week, my security guy at the door, he put the cones out and I said, damn, we can't have the cones there. The minute he pulled the first cone in, West Dallas PD pulled up, and I was standing right there, and uh, Officer Clark, as a matter of fact, and he knows me, and he said, okay, Ed, I already see you're on it, I see what's happening, I said, yes, sir, we, I know we can't have these out here, so. Okay, so, so, the cones are still there now, I think, right? Actually, I put those up, because we were doing some shoveling yesterday, and okay. was, yeah, there was a guy pulling in the front, I, I won't okay. get into that, okay. but I told okay. him you can't park this, um, so we're just trying to shovel out. And then, your name's Edward, but do you go by Amari? Everybody calls me Amari, Okay. Yeah. Um, and. There was a club in Milwaukee mm -hmm. called Onyx. Yep. Did you have anything to do with that? Yeah, I was from 2005 to 2008. I was co-owner, my brother Mark and I. Okay, because yeah. when we, again, when we had you in here in September, we asked mm -hmm. you about your background in the business. Mm -hmm. You told us about the place in Louisville. 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 Yeah. But you never mentioned Onyx. Well, honestly, uh, when you asked me about what I'd been involved in before, as far as my ventures, I didn't think that actually applied to what we're talking about. Onyx was, <coughs> when I was there, when I was a steward of it, was a restaurant. As a kitchen, same thing we did okay. over here at West Chicago. Because Onyx kind of went the wrong way. Yeah, after I left. Okay. February 22nd, 2008, 9.22 p.m. So that's when you left uh, Onyx? Last night, okay. not, absolutely. Okay. I feel but, now, but now, hold on now. But look yeah. at that record from 05 to 08. Yeah, that the place, problems roll later on. I get yeah, that. Yeah, like I said, I said just now, I feel much better about hearing that yes, you sir. weren't at Onyx at the end there. Yes, sir. Okay, and uh, I just like to say I wonder some emails I got, some of the pictures I got here with broken glass in the street and, and cups uh, laying out in the street. And uh, there was something about fights too, but I think that uh, the police came and the, there was no fights there. But, you know, it's like we said with the uh, heartbreakers that was just here, you know, if when you security, you just walk around, pick up the stuff up yes, and sir. everything. Those are, the thing, those are the things that irritate the neighborhood. Sure. You know, Thanks. and those are the things that, are, you know, they, they all do when you get calls on yes, and everything. So. And they might not even be your patrons. That, that was going to go yeah. there, but yeah. okay. they could yes, be, sir. you know, there's a couple of people that walk the streets in downtown West Dallas. I'm I, not even I'm sure, sure where they live. Yes, sir. And, you know, they leave stuff all over. But you know what? 
be a good neighbor, pick it up. Yes, sir. Because it's in front of your place. I think you understand that. Yes, sir. Yeah. If I may, going back to bottle service, what yes. you're doing is still illegal. Okay. The statute says it has to be sold by the glass. You can't sell anything okay. by the bottle. Let me ask you this, uh, Mr. Attorney. Can we pour the liquor, and this may not even be something that you know, can we pour the liquor into a carafe? Or does it have to stay in plastic bottles? Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So That's I'll the way it's worded in the state. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll amend our policy with that as well. So. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, right. having said that, I had a chance to speak maybe the better end of about three and a half weeks ago with Mayor Devine, and the reason I called his office was because for a series of weeks prior, to, weeks prior to me talking to him, I've had this cadre of officers every Friday, every Saturday, every Friday, every Saturday coming in to look at my licenses, which are displayed according to the law, on the wall for the wall to see. And they come in and say, Mr. Brown, hey, how you doing? I say, I'm doing fine, sir. Sometimes it's four, sometimes it's five. And they'll come look, and then they'll take my number down again. It got to the point, and I won't name names here because I love them all, where they were writing down the same stuff. And if you see these officers, they're chagrined to even be there doing the same thing. And it's not me. I just, this, this is what I'm getting from higher up. I said, I got you. I understand that. The last officer that came in, he was a lieutenant. He had four guys with him. My brother was coming in through the back door. He said, man, there are eight officers out there. I take the officer <coughs> into the kitchen. It's funny you bring up the kitchen because I take them all in there to show exactly what's happening, and I give them the same spiel I just gave you. Cook this, hood that, it's coming, sir, da 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 And I said, is there a policy on the book somewhere that I can get, that I can go to the West Dallas Police Department, maybe the Common Council, that indicates that for Class B liquor license establishments along this Greenfield Avenue corridor, that this is the policy? Because I've had other owners who have frequent my venue come inside and say, Ed, you got to get your hands around this. I've never had that in my years over here. These guys, I mean, they're there so much. And it only stopped when I spoke with the fine mayor of West Dallas, Mr. Devine. And he said, Ed, I'm going to call a meeting for you um, after the new year comes in. And I'm going to have you sit down with the alderman of your area and the neighbor who complained about the clubs out front. The officer that was there the last time they came, he said, I'm just going to tell you. I'm not here because of a complaint. He said, I'm, I'm just here just to check your license. I said, I know, sir. I know you guys were here last night. He said, Second night, you know, you try to smile and you, you know, you bring it off. And these guys have a job to do. I get it. There's a, maybe a task force assigned to class B liquor license establishments, but I've never seen that. I've never seen that kind of activity, and I, I'd like to believe I'm that popular, but I, I you know, I, what it speaks to, I, I won't even get into. Mm -hmm. But I'll be frank about it. It just seems a bit over the top, and you got cops walking through your patrons, and the patrons are looking around like, what on earth is going on? What's happening? And I'm saying, oh no, it's okay. These guys. They always do it. I'm putting a smile on because I'm an owner. I'm going to smile and play it off like it's nothing. <coughs> but Jesus, when those guys leave, I'm just sitting in the basement like, what, what can I do to fix it? So after having called the West Dallas PD, like I do every Sunday after the weekend, just to give them an update as to what we're doing. Because they only call, people only call this a problem. Right. But my history has been such that I call them anyway. Oh, how you doing, Andrew? It's you again. Yes, sir, Officer Shaw. Yes, sir, Officer Stern. It's me. What do you want? Oh, nothing. Just let you know that things are well this weekend. We had a guy I put out this weekend. Da, 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 da. The cops took him. That whole thing. So I thought maybe it was related to that. But this hasn't been that. This has been resources used on us for no reason. And that night I had a baby shower uh, that a girl was doing up front, and it was my birthday. That was the last time they came. The week after that I called the mayor, and then they stopped, thank goodness. But I was going to ask you, gentlemen, while we're here, and ladies, city attorney, is, that, is there somewhere I can get a copy of that policy that says that's the way it works for all the venues on Greenfield Avenue? Well, or is it just us? Mr. Chairman oh, Barza. One of the things, and I, and I think you saw it tonight, is that um, yes, sir. we had uh, uh, one with the compliance check. Officers walked into the happy tap. Yes, sir. Just check license. Mm -hmm. And we had another one about the last month. Just walks in, check mm -hmm. licenses, make sure the bartenders, bartenders come and go. Yes, sir. Uh, the officers do this on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I remember four, it. Four to five at a time, sir. Uh, well, it all depends. And then, and then, was there a call for service? That part I don't know. They, 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 they were telling it to a man and woman. You know, this, this isn't because of a complaint. We're just yeah. doing a tariff check. Five weeks in a row. I'm just saying, if there, if there was a call for service, um, that somebody's seeing something and a neighbor calls or something like that, uh, they see, see something, whatever they see, yes, it's yes. possible. But, you know, is, is it a policy that, that they'll go to a certain bar over and okay. over and over and over? Okay. Not that I'm aware of. Now, what happened was uh, they mentioned one time that they got a report of a fight on 72nd Street. Mm -hmm. And then when they came inside, uh, the officer, the sergeant, he said, um, well, yeah, they said, there's a fight here. He said, oh, we didn't see any fighter, or maybe the actors left. He said, so I just figured since I'm here, I'll do a tavern check. That was the first time. That was fine. Because yeah, I understand that. I get that. I wish there, I wish I could assist them if there were a fight and get these guys arrested or whatever they're doing. But there was nobody there. And then after that, she just went, pow, 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 pow. 
So I'm just going to say that to say this. This meeting tonight, when I got this letter in the mail to come, I thought this was as a result of the mayor having put together a meeting. But I looked at it further, and I said, no, this can't be that. This isn't that sit down. He said he's going to set. This is in front of the committee mm -hmm. of licenses and health, for Christ's sake. So I just, I was a little alarmed when I saw it. And I looked at here, and then I saw my bartender who's supposed to be here. I'll, I'll get on him about that. But so I, 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 I hope I've adequately answered Mr. Chair, if I could. You know, Right, well, I haven't had any calls about your business. I haven't called the police about your business. I haven't investigated any. Um, I did have one call before you opened up. Mm -hmm. Some people live across the street were concerned. Hey, there's something going on. Mm -hmm. But since you've been open, I, I said I've been in twice. I think you're a little pricey, but I don't think your customers are. You know, I'm, I'm glad that people are expensive. Yes. Yeah. But <laughs> um, uh, I know the other all of us have quality with right? a business yeah. owner on this. Well, that's how you keep your that's how you yeah. keep better you know better, right. better prices, better mm -hmm. customers. I get that. Yes, sir. But I can tell you, I haven't I haven't had since you've opened. I haven't had one call. About I've had I've seen the emails yes, that the other aldermen have generated, mm -hmm. and we'll certainly sit down and you know and just discuss your concerns. Yes, you sir. know, I own a bar. I own Benos yes, down the yep. street, yep. and they come through and check my licenses. Yes, sir. You know. They don't come every week, mm -hmm. but I've been in business since 1980, mm -hmm. so I think they probably understand the kind of operation I have. Yes, sir. Um, I also like to say, you know, our, our, our police chief is very good with people, mm -hmm. and I, I mean, if the, if, he, if you want to just you know call there and talk to him, or go down there and talk to him, yes, you know, you, you can do that too. Yes, sir. You know, because he's you know he's very good with, with the public and everything, so you know, yes, sir. if that if that. You know, I, if there's a problem that you need to, you know, you like to speak to, you can do that too. Yes, sir. I, and I, I think so. I'm, um, that's the meeting that the mayor right. said, mm -hmm. the chief and myself. I know the desk sergeant's tired of me, but I, I just call just to keep apprised of what's going on, you know, if okay. anything at all. So. Okay. Just, just, I'm just, I'm just reading from. Is this, this is all this the stuff is, we got. Just, real quick. Since the cur current owners received their license 11714, the West Dallas Police Department has created calls regarding uh, this address 15 times. Mm -hmm. Of those, nine officer-generated tavern checks. The other issues, the Lieutenant, I can't pronounce his last name, noted on 12-7, does not appear that officers observe any actions rising to the level <coughs> of issues concern and arrest in these checks. Four of the calls were for road hazard vehicle complaints and OWI. Yes. So there were 15 calls for service, which is highly unusual. Mm -hmm. You don't even open on weekends, yeah. so something's generating something. Sure. I don't, I don't know what it is. There's, there's also something in here about um, having too many people in uh, seven. Yeah, police department. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 day shift officer met with Brent and mm -hmm. discussed the concerns for these issues. Intoxicated individuals, glass outside, cars parked in the alley, and noise. Um, so, so there is something going on, mm -hmm. contrary to what you're saying. Well, no, um, no. I don't know what it is, but. If if there's 15 calls for service, mm -hmm. I, that's that's extremely high. I, I do so agree with that. so I do agree with that. so something's going on mm -hmm. that those calls are being generated. I, I can tell you this much, sir. And it's it's not really even contrary to what I'm saying because I think we're all in alignment in terms of. I agree with what you guys are saying, and I understand why I'm here now. Yeah. But um, I will tell you this: um, it's been my experience that when the officers are or do come out, obviously they're there for a reason. Whether the calls are generated by someone in the neighborhood who has a problem with the crowd sizes or the noise, which is something I'm definitely going to address because the neighbors are there first. That's how I look at it. It's just the neighborhood. They have to live there. I understand mm -hmm. that that part of it. And I'm definitely going to be on that more proactively. But having said that, I just, again, it just felt as if the marriage with, with my license and the business itself being open on the two days that you referenced, Alderman, it just seems a bit... I, it just seems a bit over the top for the kinds of things that you're sure. mentioning. Mm -hmm. There are no capital crimes being committed here, but they're important issues nonetheless, and I get that. I just I just wanted to address that in front of you guys and let right. you know what my concerns were, and obviously, more importantly, hear yours. Um, yeah, there's, there was, uh, there's one other thing about armed, the armed security guards. Yes, uh, you didn't request that. They just kind of showed up with it according, according to the report. Yes, but with that being said, uh, we no longer have guys that are armed. It, it, it sends the wrong message right. for what we are, and I, I don't like that. Um, the lead guy uh, just died, actually, uh, 50 years old, just had a heart attack, a massive heart attack. So, uh, he was the head of that company, so we hired someone else. So. Okay, so yeah, that, that was because we had, an, we had another uh, place in the city that armed guards, and it's just, mm -hmm. it does seem like... It's over the top. Yeah, it, 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 right, it does give that, yeah. when somebody sees an armed guard sitting there, they think, well, why am I going in here? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. You know, type I, of thing, too, so. Have you, have you ever frequented Elsa's in downtown Milwaukee on Jefferson Street? Not for years. Not for, this, this is what that is going to morph into. We had a special event on Tuesday night. Had a bunch of elected officials from Milwaukee, all the persons that I know from my 18 years in broadcast radio in this market. And they came down, and I just kind of sat back, and I looked at my sister, 
and I said, see, this is what the, what the food is going to make us look like. Mm -hmm. This is what it'll be, sort of along those lines. You just, this thing is coming soon. This kitchen will be done by the first of February. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll begin to resemble exactly what we talked about up front. Okay. Uh, is there anything further here? Do I have a motion placed on file? So moved. moved. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Motion carried. How you doing, Miss Neff? Thank you. How you sit, man? How you doing? Okay. Uh, Mary Jo Burbeck. Okay. Okay, so that's 61 and 62, two different things. Uh, first, we have the health department here. Yes. Uh, this is my new agency. How about right. uh, Laura, Matt, you want to come up and say something here? Or well, some do you yeah, sorry, admit ahead. getting a copy of this, the summons and complaint? Right. Yes, I did receive that. And do you admit the allegations contained in the summons and complaint? To a degree, yes. Well, what degree is that? Um, you can go through it. There's just a few items. The one, um, and I did talk to Laura. She knows I apologize. Um, uh, one being that the garbage was not paid. The bill was not paid. It's, it paid. it's paid every three months. I do have, I just wrote the dates. So I didn't actually bring copies of the pay, of the receipts paid, but that's paid every three months. Um, Let me, let's go through the complaint. Okay. One by one. So we'll skip one, two, and three, because we know you have a food, mm. food permit. You're the agent for the food permit. Correct? Yes. Okay. And that you are the just on um, business owner's trade name Tap 58. Correct. And that on uh, March 17th, Ms. Temke inspected the premises and discovered that garbage is being stored outside the, the refuse enclosure. The yes. refuse and recycling enclosures were filled beyond capacity and garbage is accessible to insects and rodents. Do you agree to that? Yes. Okay. And you received it in order to abate public nuisance. Do you agree to that in paragraph yes. 7? Yes. Okay. On November 19th, do you agree that there was, the garbage was overflowing and that bag of, bags of garbage were piled in the backyard? Uh, there was a garbage container with some garbage in the backyard. I don't, and I'm not going to say there was or wasn't. I do not believe that there were actual bags of garbage piled outside. There was a garbage can that had garbage in it, but not an enclosed one. So, not, so nothing so enclosed. Correct. Okay. Correct. So I guess partially agree on that. Yes. Okay. Number nine, that are those two dates, November 20th, November 21st, where the garbage is being out stored outside the refuse enclosure? Yes. And the refuse and recycling enclosures are filled beyond capacity? Yes. And accessible to insects and rodents? Yes. Okay, agree to that. Um, during that same inspection, that number 10, that she dis Ms. Temke discovered food stored in the back room, nacho cheese, jalapeno, sour cream, et cetera, looking at number 10? Yes. You agree to that? Okay. Yes. And you agree that there were cigarette butts and an odor of cigarette smoke in the air on that day? Yes. Okay. Number 11, that you received the health inspection report? Yes. Okay. November 25th, that do you agree that there was updates on your Facebook page regarding those, the, the nachos, the lunch, the enchiladas, the corn roast, Thanksgiving meal? Yes. I mean, yeah, yes. And do you agree in paragraph 13 that Lieutenant High came to you and spoke to you about, spoke to your, I think believe spoke to your husband? Yes. Okay. November 26th that Ms. Tempe discovered 10 pounds of raw ground beef and numerous condiments. Is that, you agree with that? Yes. Okay. And then also the ashtray? Yes. Okay. That she also served you a cease and desist order and a, a, a bait public health nuisance for the garbage? Yes. And then on December 1st, that she observed that the refuse and recycling enclosures were filled beyond capacity and the garbage was accessible? Y yes. Okay. That on December 11th, did, were you serving food during the Packer game? There was food set in the back room. It was, uh, it was not in the bar area. It was, uh, you know, it, it, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to... The yes, patrons can uh, access your back room. Yes, that? they can go back there. Okay. It's not really licensed with the bar, but it is the back room attached to the bar. So it's part of the premises. Though, right? Correct, yes. Yeah, so that's yes. part of the okay. bar. Okay, okay, yes, yes. And on December 14th, that she went there and discovered that there was hamburger bun, sloppy joe, homemade potato salad, a frozen turkey, and an empty ashtray. That you're talking about the same 
thing. Oh, that's the same thing. Okay, yes. so you're agreeing to that. Okay, gotcha. It seems like you pretty much agree with everything that's Yes, I'll, I'll, I'm not going to, you know, come up here and... Okay. I, I apologize. I Yes, I did. I had food out for a Packer game. And you let people smoke. And the... Well, and the, and the Thanksgiving thing. And, well, let's put this way. Basically, what, what's happening here is that you're told don't do this, and you go ahead and do it anyway. I did. I, I did. And I apologized to her. It was I didn't mean to stop it in place, and it was. And I... It was, yeah. It was very wrong. And it was rude on top of it. Laura's been always good, always helpful. And I did clearly apologize to her, even though it was too late. It does, you know, I didn't mean to stop in the face, which is what I did. And I did apologize to her. And I do know that I was wrong. I'd also like to know if you look on the Facebook page, it's good karma. So from all my neighbors, and I do benefits for people. Not that that matters at this point. Well, based on the admission, I believe then that you can also you can hear from um, Ms. Kempe and Ms. Nussbach in regards to what they would like to see in regards to a punishment. Sally. I just paid in December 1st, my notes. yeah, December 1st, I believe, was last payment, so it's just January. I don't know if I know how to wrote that down. And part of the order was to show proof that they did have um, a company and that they were in good standing, and you have not received that in your office yet. Oh, I'm so, I've, I apologize for that. It was 9, 2, and 12, 1, so I am caught up. I will get that to you. I, I apologize. I did it. I actually spoke with Advance today, and as of today, they owe $380.86. They're four months behind. They owe for October, November, December, and January. Because you came up, you pay ahead. So um, oh. in total, those four months equal three eighty eighty six. Okay. Well, I did make payments. I'm, and I, I, I believe I'm not saying you wrong. I did make payments for my nine two and twelve one. So I will get that caught up and get the copy of that to you. Okay. So based on the statute and the subsection four of the um, summons and complaint. The committee can hear um, arguments from the complainant and from the committee about whether to non-renew, revoke, or suspend the permit and the length of suspension. Now, is this the permit for food or food. pizza? Uh, pee, pee package. So pee I would ask that, I think, based on that, if the committee wants to hear from Ms. Nuslock and Ms. Uh, Ms. Kempke about how much, what they think is an appropriate punishment at this time. Um. Laura, in her communication, she had recommended a 30-day suspension. Oh. Okay. That'd be suspension of the food permit. Okay. Uh, however, <laughs> here's the kicker. In West Dallas, we have a local ordinance that requires, at the minimum, um, a f establishment that serves anything from packaged chips, popcorn, packaged candy, bottled soda, bottled water, um, and drink ice are all part of food. Um, in Wisconsin food code, so they would not be allowed to even serve pretty much any of those things, um, including drink anything that can involves drink ice. Um, and bottled beverages is a generic term, which would also include bottled beer um, and other alcoholic bottled beverages, unfortunately. Which okay. is not, it's not just the West Dallas Ordinance, it's the state statute. That's the state statute, correct. So, uh, it's so basically, we'd be shutting them down. Almost. So it could be like draft beer. Well, that'd be about it. Beverage is the term, so that would be a liquid substance, which is what the definition definition is. So. Okay. So what you're saying is, is because of their violations that they have here, is that if if we tell them that uh, for 30 days they can't serve anything. Correct. So basically, we're closing them down for 30 days. Pretty much, which was my recommendation. Mr. Chair, Alan Wagle, Laura, your recommendation was 30 days, and you and when you made that recommend you make that recommendation, understanding it's 30 days of complete it would essentially mean lock the doors. For them. Or would you be happy if it was just uh, if we could find an accommodation where it was 30 days with no food whatsoever, not even allowing say catered food being yeah. brought in by a professional? They don't do that anyway. They oh, one, pieces, which is I think probably so. less. So, to me, that's not really, that's a little slap on the hand. Um, this, is, this took up an exorbitant amount of my time, including weekends, and time away from my family, and just utter disrespect for enforcement 
from, it, it just, there has to be a punishment. There has to be, because this cannot continue. It cannot. Mr. Chairman? Um, my suggestion is that after, that we put this on hold, and we go through the rest of the whatever's on our agenda and we meet in closed session with with staff and um, discuss it a little further yeah. and then come back with uh, some type of a recommendation. We need a chance for the committee to give the argument. Are you gonna do it at that time? No. Or because they should have a chance to respond yeah. as well is what she okay. thinks an appropriate response And, and we can do that right now. Okay. Right. I mean, that part I... Well, and again, I, and again, and I know I, Blatantly did wrong her. She's been nothing but good to me. Always willing to help. I would also like to point out, though, at other any other inspection, anything related to food, any temperatures of my coolers, any of all that has always been spot on. Um, I did have the cease and desist order. I should not have done it. However, and I'm not one to say, well, they're doing it. I'm not playing that game. But there are 60% of the buyers in this city that do not have the food license as well. And they're serving food every Packer game or everyone's birthday or what what have you. Again, though, I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, but I did wrong. I mean, I'm admitting that to you guys. So I guess that's all I have to say. I mean, I did wrong, so. But I do think 30 days closing the whole business is a little harsh as a suspension. Or a push. Well, I appreciate it. I hear it from you. Okay. Is that it then? Mr. Chair? The only thing right oh, now no. is the dumpster, right? As of right now, the only outstanding thing other than the cease and desist that you gave them that's the only thing they got to clean up right now and they've been coming every every deal they come every week at that i'm sorry to them. i apologize they i'm only, sorry yeah they need to be in good standings and then have show us proof that they still have a contract with the company and have a zero balance bill because this actually happened beginning of the year too so this and who not. are you with I, I just changed, i changed to advanced disposal because waste management was so exorbitant expensive so i did switch to get a lower price to try to you know Keep up the paint. To who? Uh, advanced yeah. disposal or out of Mosquito. Okay. Mosquito. okay. Uh, so we're gonna. Okay, that, that's all you have then. Mm -hmm. So then we can uh, we can finish our agenda and go in closed session. Or right. Yeah, and I think Attorney Post should probably be the one to advise you on it since I was basically represented the health department. But is to finish up what the health department says. I think you some appro uh, um, suspension is appropriate in this matter based on the numerous complaints. The time that Ms. Kempsey has spent to do that. And plus, there is a danger to the public of serving food that is homemade and brought in, not monitored, not for temperature, and there could be an outbreak of things like that. I do understand. Yes. Okay, so uh, we're going to finish this and go into closed session then and, uh, and then come we'll up. Come back into the open session and then discuss it. Okay, further. so you guys will chat and then. Yep, so don't I understand. Understand. Is, okay. okay, so is uh, staff going to be here for closed session? For closed session? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. They'll, they'll, they'll be here for okay. closed session. I hope they will be. Yeah. Uh, Scott was allowed to have to come out and ask you questions. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Um, <laughs> easy, easy. Don't Okay. So, the next thing we have is okay. Hector Guillermo. Hector's not here again. He sent, his attorney contacted me yesterday, and he was supposed to send me an email in regards to this. He didn't send me that email, but they're seeking a hearing, so I don't know how the committee wants to proceed if we just schedule it for a hearing, and I'll... I'll write the communication to Attorney Wales and tell him we need a letter within five days saying that we need to know what exactly what's going on. I think it's probably the best way to proceed in this matter. Agreed. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I agree. Okay, so we're in. That's all done. Uh, yeah. Wait, those are, those are, I think that was uh, 64 and 63. There we go. And then we have. Um, 65, I believe, is the police report. But we. No, this is also. No. Yeah, this is for Hector also. Yeah. So is that for. He's gone, Clark. Okay, that's going to be the new person who's applying. Okay. We got two police reports. There should be one regarding a change of agent. Yeah, the change yeah, of agent. Yeah, change agent. And then we have the police report, which I believe we discussed last time, and we really didn't get any answers because the uh, Nobody was person here. was here, or the attorney was here. Okay, so, um, and I take it 
Lindsay's not here. She's not here. I'm here for her again. <laughs> and I can report. Take out FC. <laughs> <coughs> Provide a report to all of you. Okay. She it has moved. She is basically desiring to cease association with the bar. Okay. Um, my understanding is that her father is still running the day to day operations. I believe a change of agent uh, was filed. Right. Um, that's the gist of. That she provided to me, that I can provide to you. Okay. Very good. So, as far as this, as far as the police report goes, you know, that was still, well, she still had it. With regards to the incident uh, that happened out, outside the bar? Yes. Which I think we discussed before, but we just held it. Yeah. You know, pending that you were going to talk to her and everything, seeing well, that she is going to no longer be involved with it. Well, I think I communicated what her position was with regards to that incident. Right. Is that what you're asking for? Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, but if we can get a new agent, is she still the owner? Or is corporation or anything? It's a corporation. Corporation. Okay. All right, I'll see. Okay. So, uh, first off, we want to take the police report. Are we just going to place it in file? Well, she's leaving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She, she's definitely she's not coming back she has my understanding is that she's started a relationship with someone down south and she came she was here for the holidays but she has decided that she's moving down there now to pursue that relationship is she going to surrender the license that's her intentions yes well i wouldn't place that in file until we get a surrender right, yeah. of the license <laughs> Well, she's not surrendering well, we don't the license. The license surrender she's isn't just involved. appointing a new agent. agent. Well, when that new agent takes over that license, then place this on file. Okay. That's you also can vote, if we, depending on the facts and circumstances of the case, if you wanted to bring it in for a summons and complaint as well, based on the allegations in that in regards to the bar license and not right. just Mr. Guillermo's bar license. But that's just an option you have. I yeah, this, yeah. this one's about the... Stuff that went on outside the bar, the yeah. fight and everything. Yeah, and if you're concerned about how the bar is being run mm -hmm. and the incident, then that right. could be appropriate for someone to complain. To. Okay, so we're going to hold that. Okay. Uh, I guess we're done. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Don Clark. <coughs> okay, you're going to be taking over running of the bar. Yes. Okay. Uh, we <clears throat> we filed a transfer of the license as well. Actually, when you were saying that she would needed to surrender the license, right? We I think I filled out the papers for the transfer okay. of the license, the Mr. transfer, Chair? and then as and then doing business as the agent, okay. as well. And you, Mr. Chair, you, no, okay. go ahead. Um, you work there now? Yes. So you have experience. Do you have other experience in the bar business? Oh yeah. Like what? Where? I um, was a bartender at, I hate to say it, Mario's and Danny's Lounge for through the duration of Mario's, through the duration of Danny's Lounge. Okay. And, and you then, live in the neighborhood? Yes. I understand that. Black yeah. and a half away from yeah. the Duck and Duck. Yeah. Yes. And is, do you under, you've been following what's been going on in the drama with Hector? Yes. Okay. Are you, so you're, the, the change of agency has happened already? No, that's what this is. So that would be effective tomorrow? Once we get all the inspections. Once the inspections go through. Is Hector staying on as an employee? As, as far as I know, yes. If he's a, if he if his license isn't revoked. Yeah, that's disturbing. Yeah. Uh, uh, is Hector your father also? No, no, no. no. It was okay. Lindsay and Allison's father. Okay. As you said. Okay. Um, okay, so you. you you plan on keeping Hector on, you know, pending what happens with this, show the license. And you're going to keep the, the place the same name? Yes. Okay. Um, you're aware of the problems that we had there? Were you working there? Yeah, any of those nights? No. no. I don't have any idea what happened with any of that. Okay. All, all I know is what has been told to me by the other, um, by Hector and Lindsay. Okay. And that's it. But I was not there on any of those nights. 
Okay. Sounds like you're transferring the license into your, the license into your name is what you're requesting? Like it's doing business yeah. as? Yes. Okay, so I think you'd have to file a new operations plan for that to change your name, because that then... We need a new application. Yeah. yeah. And All we application, have is yeah. a change of agent form. Uh, license yeah. for Yeah, the appointment of new agent is what... Yeah, because if you're trying to transfer license, you're going to file paperwork like for Like a new corporation? Application. I, th I thought it was when I filed, when we look, when I looked it up online, the transfer license, the transfer of the agent will transfer it from one person to the next. Those are the papers that, that the website gave me. I went right to the Wisconsin page. Well, it's still going to be under the name of Beer Gardens Entertainment LLC. So you're not actually transferring the entire alcohol license in your name. You're just transferring the name of the agent in your name. Is that what... I thought it was to transfer the, the, the license from Lindsay to me. It, she signed it. Right. She signed something that stated it, that. It, it is, right. but the corporation's still saying it's the same owners. And if the same owners are there, I'm going to move that we go uh, go ahead uh, with uh, uh, summons and complaint if it's going to stay the same owner. Well, I think that, I think that I'll be the new owner. No, nope, you're still the owner. You're no. just transferring. No. So Hector and Lindsay they're, are still the They're just the hanging it on you. Are you a member of the LLC of Beer Gardens Entertainment? I was added as an agent. Are you listed in their corporate documents? Are you like a secretary, a treasurer, vice president, president? Then you have nothing to do with LLC, so that's the LLC's in charge. Yeah, you're, working for their mouthpiece. you're working for them. You're working for them, but the license is your license for the bar. So it's I need confusing. to file different, yes, it is confusing. So I need to file totally different paperwork for it to be. You need to lit literally buy it from them. You might want to get a lawyer. Boy. So. So they, they put me out there to hang me out there to dry, well, basically. Sure we don't know, we don't know mm -hmm. what their intention yeah. was. Yeah. Or what the result's going to be, but. But, but, yeah, but if you mean, if you were the agent, uh, you know, anything goes on in a bar, we'll come right after you. Right. That I understand. You know, and uh, even though they. They run the place. So. Well, I'll be running the place. Right. I'm still. But I'm they're the ones. So, so what you're saying is that you don't even want to vote on this. No. You don't want to vote on nothing to do with this until it's squared away. You don't know what's going on over there. You know, as far as, well, I mean, if you come in, they're saying that you're buying the corporation or starting a new corporation, taking it and buying it from them. That they have nothing to do with it. And, and they have, you have to file, you know, a whole report. You know, on, uh, on the whole place. So, um, I, Mr. Chairman, I would also strongly suggest that uh, uh, you maybe reconsider hiring Hector as an employee if you're going to be in charge. Right. Okay. okay, so this is all going to be held. Uh, I would say that uh, we can contact the clerk's office to find out exactly what you have to have to transfer the license. Or the attorney. Okay. You know, the license or the city attorney's. Would you rather have a call talk to you or? Um, yeah, I think talking to the clerk would be fine right yeah, now. But you, she knows you might want to talk to Ms. Guillermo and see exactly what her intentions are first before you go down that process. Because if she wants to transfer the license, you don't need her consent. She's going to have to basically, the, or Beer Gardens LLC, you're going to have no consent or to transfer it. How did I sign? I thought she signed one. She did sign one. I know she That's did. That's just for the agent. That's just the agent. Yeah, transfer the license. I know, there was two pa I know there was two papers that I, sh that mm -hmm. I had to sign and fill out. I don't remember right. what they were for exactly. Mm -hmm. They're right here. And what are they? Uh, appointment of new agent and the auxiliary questionnaire for her background check. Okay. Mr. Chair? All the way. And the ag new agent doesn't trigger inspections and all that. Because we do this all the time at the chains, the Applebee's. They we send them. inspection sheets to the different departments to notify them of the agent but, change. But it, but they have to sign off and send it back so that we know they've gotten the notification. Okay. But it doesn't it doesn't trigger an inspection. They don't they don't go and re-inspect the property. No. Not to my knowledge. Okay. Do you kind of understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so I basically, I need to get a lawyer and so first talk to them. You know what I need. That to it is on. your business. Yeah. 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 Okay. So they have nothing to do with it. Okay. okay. That's done? it. You're done. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Uh, <coughs> I think that's all we have then. Do you have to read the closed session? Yes, I got to go there. All right, I'll ask it Scott first. Here's Scott. He's here. Yeah. That was right there. Look at that. Good job. Look at the timing.